Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on changing the subject of a formula where the subject appears twice in a fraction. So to make x a subject means we want to get x on its own on one side of the equation. But currently it's sort of trapped inside this fraction. And remember when x appears multiple times, the subject appears multiple times, we have this threefold strategy. We want to firstly isolate the subject on one side of the equation. Then secondly, once we've done that, we factorise the subject out. And then thirdly, we divide appropriately. So, we first need to get all the x terms on one side of the equation. Now, because the x is currently trapped inside of a fraction, a sensible thing to do is to try and get rid of all the fractions, to free everything up. And to do that, to get rid of that over x minus 2, we can just multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 2. So if we do that, the left-hand side becomes y times x minus 2. I'll expand out in a second. And if we multiply the right-hand side by x minus 2, it gets rid of this over x minus 2, giving you just 3x plus 1. So we've dealt with the fraction. Now we should probably expand out this bracket as well, because we want to get everything out into the open. So if we multiply this out, we get y times x is xy, remember alphabetical order, and y times minus 2 is minus 2y. And we get a problem that we've kind of seen similar ones in previous videos. So we want to now isolate the subject on one side of the equation. So let's decide either to get the x terms on the left-hand side of the equation or the right-hand side of the equation. I'm going to put the x terms on the left-hand side of the equation. It doesn't really matter, though. So to do that, the one we're adding 3x to it, so to get rid of that plus 3x, we minus 3x from both sides. And then that gives us xy minus 2y, and then we're subtracting the 3x. Subtracting 3x from the left-hand side just gets rid of the 3x, leaving just 1. And then this minus 2y here is not an x term, and we only want x terms on the left-hand side, so we're going to add 2y to get rid of it. So adding 2y gets rid of that, leaving just xy minus 3x and we've added that 2y to the right-hand side. And that's great. We have isolated the subject on one side of the equation because all these terms are x terms only, and all the non-x terms are on the other side of the equation. So now we can do step two, factorise the subject out. Well, they both have x in common, so we can factorise out that x. x times what is xy? What's well, it's y. x times what is minus 3x? It's minus 3. And then the final step is to divide appropriately x has been multiplied by y minus 3. So therefore, to get rid of that times by y minus 3, we just divide by y minus 3. So that gets rid of the y minus 3 on the right-hand side, leaving just x. And if we divide the right-hand side by y minus 3, we just get a fraction, 1 plus 2y over y minus 3. We don't need those brackets, by the way, because there's nothing else around the denominator. And that's the final answer, because x is indeed on its own on one side of the equation. So therefore, x is the subject.